Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Soap. In this video, I'm going to be making some body butters. They're going to be scented with mulberry. Now I'm dedicating this video to a friend of mine. Her name is Selena. She's been there for me thick and thin over the last couple of years. And I just want to make a video dedicated to her. I'm also going to be sending her one of these body butters as she loves this fragrance. So it's in the mail and it's coming to you. Selena, I hope you like it. I'm going to put all the details of this recipe in the description below. I actually got this recipe from a, another YouTuber and I'm going to put a link to her video in the description below. So this is not my recipe, but it works perfectly and that's why I'll continue to use it. So I'm going to be using sweet almond oil, coconut oil and shea butter. You can also use cocoa butter if you like. But for this recipe, I'm going to leave it out. So my recipe is this. 25% of the mix is sweet almond oil. 25% of the mix is coconut. And 50% of the mix is shea butter. But if you were to use cocoa butter, you'd make it 25% shea butter and 25% cocoa butter. So I'm just using twice as much shea butter and leaving out the cocoa butter. So once I've finished making my mix, I'm going to put it in these cute little jars. They hold about 100 grams. They are glass, but you can get the plastic version of this as well. But I find this to be a really good container for it because it's nice and wide. And the last thing you want is a small container that you have to stick your finger right into to get to the bottom. So here I'm going to be adding my sweet almond oil, coconut oil and shea butter all into one glass bowl. Then I'm going to be putting it on the double boiler on low heat and I want it to just melt where it's all liquid. I'll stir it all in and then put it in the fridge. Okay, as you can see now, it's all melted down and it's all liquid. I'm just stirring it all around to make sure all the oils and butters are mixed in together. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the fridge. So I'm going to put this little mat down so it doesn't burn the glass inside my fridge. So this is about two and a half hours later. I probably could have left it a little bit longer, but two and a half hours and it was fine. So I mixed this in for probably around about three or four minutes, and then I added my fragrance. So with my fragrance, I'm using mulberry and I added three mils. Now in this recipe, there is only 300 grams of oils. So it's only 1%, but every fragrance is different. So make sure you check with your fragrance supplier on how much you should be putting into a body butter. Okay, now that my fragrance is in, I'm going to mix it all up. And this is around about another 10 to 15 minutes to make sure everything's mixed in properly and it becomes like a really whipped cream. So just when you think that it's perfect, do it a little bit more. You'll know when you reach that point, it will be quite thick, but still very pasty. And that's when you add it to your jar. I made three of these in total. One of them's been sent to Selena and the other two I'll probably give to family and friends. So I know there's a lot of different recipes that you could use for this. I've found about five myself. And some of them include like vitamin E and grapeseed oil and things like that. I guess you could really mix and match. This is a very basic recipe. It's literally two oils and one butter. So I'm really happy with the results and I'll continue making it like this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.